What's going on everybody? It's Rick from Gardening with Bar Chucking. This here was the old slug bin that I have since eradicated, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I did get in here a few days earlier. I added this bubble wrap, which as you can see has helped with the moisture. Um, I did give a little feeding to this, so I'm going to check on that. Hopefully the worms have been drawn over to this area. And uh, I do have a little piece of zucchini if, if it looks like they are handling the food okay. And uh, we're going to hop right in. Yeah, I had a piece of pepper and a tomato. They were both in the freezer. What I did, I just ended up slicing it in half. I see a couple of the pill bugs, the roly polies. A couple of little worms in there. Oh. There's a piece of corn that I put in earlier. It's pretty much empty. There's a worm. Right there. Oh, worm in there too. Old piece of corn. And there's nothing much left of that. Wow, I don't even see the uh, the tomato. Oh, there's there's the tomato. Yeah, nice. Well, at least the worms did what I wanted them to do. Come over for the food. As you see, that uh, really wasn't touched too much, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and quick fluff the bin, get everything incorporated, and then give them that piece of zucchini. Piece of uh, grape stem. Piece of zucchini. We're going to top it with a little bit of ground up eggshell. So the feeding's right in here. Bit of the worm chow mix on top. Okay, coffee filter, mark the feeding. Little cover for them. And then I'll place the bubble wrap back on where the feeding area is. So hopefully it can keep that area nice and moist. One thing, if you remember from past videos, when I would have the lids on, uh, the worms would, would be on the sides a lot. Um, for about the last maybe week and a half, two weeks, I've, I've just left the lids off and uh, everybody's been playing, playing good and playing kind and staying in the bin. So that's great. I'll be uh, harvesting the castings from the one pound red wiggler bin here uh, very shortly 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, quick show you the little bait cup that I have in the castings. And these castings have really dried out, so I'm hoping uh, to get that basically sifted and go through and get the last of those uh, red wigglers out of there and put them into the other bin. So I do want to give a shout out to everybody that kind of gave me some suggestions. Uh, some people said about topping uh, the wet castings with a little bit of uh, newspaper to hopefully draw out some of that moisture, which it has. These are uh, still moist, but as you can see, it kind of, they crumble real nice. Um, before it was just kind of a, a big wet mess. There's still quite a few worms in the castings when I was just kind of turning them over a little bit. Okay, I'm going to get my uh, container that I'm storing everybody in right now. So here's where everybody's stored. Let's take a little look in here. I added, uh, I think, some cucumber. And uh, just the other day, I put a little watermelon in there. There's the, the melon. piece of skin from that cucumber. I can see some seeds right there. There's one little worm over that way. And there's another piece of cucumber skin. There's a little bit up top. Nothing too much with the new. Oh, there's a nice little worm. So, oh, I guess, come back here, buddy. I'll go ahead and see about incorporating everybody into here. And I added Piece of zucchini in here the other day. Oh, well, there's the corn from earlier. Yep, there's the zucchini. It's like the magical vegetable. Oh, there's another one. So, I'm just trying to keep these guys happy. Uh, until I can get them back into the to the larger bin. So once the castings are harvested, then all this will go back into the big 27 gallon tote. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave the bait cup out now. Um, I pretty much got as many, I think, as I'm gonna get out with that. Um, so I'll kinda have to do either like a light uh, migration on the rest of the castings but uh, that'll be for another day thanks for coming along checking out the video everybody have a great day